All right, back for another Super Mario 64 part. I'm tired. Already? Okay, that was a record breaker. <laughs> okay, now let's see, what's the next star we should do? Hmm, Bomb Bomb Battlefield 100% complete. Womp's Fortress is 100% complete. Jolly Roger Bay, Cool Cool Mountain, and uh, oh, what's this? Big Boo's Haunt. Huh. Looks like there's one thing left to do in that world. Or should I say, course. Um, I'm not gonna say that horrible pun, even though that's pretty much what I do a lot. But um, yes, the one thing that we need to do is 100 coins. And that is what we shall do now. Alright, uh... Hmm. Whatever, of course my favorite number. <clears throat> you know what I said about red coin missions. But yes. I guess we'll do this next because that's... You know, I, I don't know, I, I just feel like following the order for the rest of these percentage parts. In whatever I do in history. Whee! And, um, yeah, when I was a kid, I thought I could literally bounce out of this place and go out of bounds, like, over that gate. Maybe over that gate or over that gate. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, it was... It was very scary. Like, when I tried doing that, I literally, like, I, I almost ran out of my room because I thought I would go out of bounds. Because, I don't know, when I was a little kid, the thought... Even the distinct thought of going out of bounds in a game terrified me to no end. And, um, this game had a lot of that, as far as I remember, and because of that, I have, to this day, I still have dreams of this game. Um, nightmares, in fact, of this game, because of that reason. Um... When I was a little kid, I always had nightmares of this game. <laughs> Feels appropriate talking about this in a in a scary level, huh? I always have I've always had bad dreams of this game, you know. You know, I'm just uh going out of bounds just uh <laughs> you know, didn't really feel all that great. Uh, I always have nightmares and uh yeah, even to this day I still have bad dreams about this game. As great as it is, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it's a lot of, uh, a lot of scary stuff in your childhood that comes back to haunt you sometime, and, uh, you know, it's not always fun, and, oh, God! <laughs> yeah, I bet you guys were seeing that coming. I've seen top ten videos of, like, the scariest things in their life, and that was, oh, come on. That was definitely one of those moments. Come on! Oh, I guess you can't kill them. Okay, I thought you got a. I thought you got a. Oh, this is where you get a blue coin. And if I missed out on it, then son of a whore, get off of this freaking bookcase! What the hell? Don't laugh at me, booze. And, um, yeah, the last part of this game, I, uh, had a, I, I don't know what the word is for it, but the picture would not keep up with the audio, or the other way around, rather, I, I think. And, um, and the reason for that, I actually found out, is because, you know, we're playing Mario 64, and, you know, Super Nintendo. What?! I even said the number 64. Wouldn't that make me say the name of the system even better? Son of a bitch. But yes, uh, Mario 64 on the Nintendo 64. You'd think that that would cause some slowdown because... I actually rendered this in a WMV format. Um, last percentage part. And, um... Well, you know what happens when you mix old shit with new shit? It doesn't really mix that well, so... Huh, Super Mario 3D Land much. Um, but yes, that's basically what happened. Oh, man. 
But, uh, yeah. Guess it didn't work all that well. So, if I render this in, 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 a, in MP4 format, I think I'll have ripples. Honestly, I don't know if you're going to be seeing that right now. I don't know if I rendered it in that format. But whatever. You know what? Oh my god. The sound of the books hitting the other side of the wall is, is a womp's foot. Listen to that sound. That's freaking weird. I do it one more time. <laughs> but yeah, people. I never uh, really noticed that before. Maybe I did and it just didn't... I don't know what I'm saying. Ugh. Perfect. Okay, do you have to go off screen? No, you don't. Okay, good. Jesus. Okay, let's get her and get the coin back. I thought the, the, the blue part of the eye, or the yeah, eye itself, rather, had to go, like, off screen in order to turn. Like, in order to turn. That's why, like, what I hate about in some games. It has to be off screen in order for it to count, and it's... Oh, you can just jump. Alright, that's good. Yeah. You know what? Since we're on the topic of scary stuff, I guess, like, I, I, I know this place isn't scary, but we're just gonna call it scary because that's the, the theme of it, right? I kid you guys not. Um, one time I was playing Resident Evil 4. <laughs> yeah, we all know how popular uh, that game is, right? You know that one part in the game where you go outside and there's this big trail in front of you and um you walk towards the uh other like the other end of the yard or something you walk like you keep walking forward and then all of a sudden you hear a noise and then and then you see a huge motherfucking crowd of zombies i think it's in like um world 2 or something like that if that makes sense i don't know if that makes sense just Screw what I said about World 2, I guess. Um, but yeah, you were walking, and then something happens behind you, and then you see a huge motherfucking crowd of zombies. Did you guys know that if you actually do not... Um, if you don't do that, like, normally walk to your destination, if you don't do that, and you actually look at the door the whole time, if you keep walking backwards, basically, and you... You know, you keep a good eye on it so it doesn't do, like pull any shit on you. It actually, like, that will not trigger for no reason. Like, sorry for going on a rant like that, but seriously, games that do that piss me off. It's stupid. Oh, hey. Oh, Gala 104. got your wish this time. <laughs> Goody. Richie got another chance. Whatever. And with that, I'm going to triple jump off this balcony and kill myself. Let me do it. Thank you. Uh, okay, good enough. But yeah, that was the part, I guess. Oh man, that's pretty short. <clears throat> Whatever. Nine, ten minutes, I guess. But yeah, that's just the one thing that I really, really hate about games. Is that stuff has to be off screen in order for things to trigger. And that's what really pisses me off. And especially if you keep an eye on it and keep it in camera level. It won't trigger. It's it's stupid. Like 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 why can't they just do it so that if you look at it then it starts anyway? Like it's stupid. Oh wait. I guess it makes sense because of, you know, animating a hundred zombies appear out of nowhere for no reason. <laughs> you know, that can be kinda tough to do, right? But if you're not looking at it, it gives the developers the excuse to just put a hundred zombies there in the back. It's like heh, the people who are playing this game won't be able to see. Let's put it in sneaky. Let's be sneaky and put it in without animating it at all. Case in point, not looking at it so they can sneak behind your back. 
because they can't animate something like that in a fraction of a second, so yeah. It's sneaky, and I guess it's the right thing to do, but it's it doesn't excuse the fact that it's fucking retarded. Did I just say fucking retarded? Fucking retarded. Fudging retarded, there we go. Um, do I feel like doing another mission? Yeah, eh, probably not. Uh, I'm probably talking too much anyway. Huh? Like, I, I don't know if it's pissing you guys off. You know what? Before I go, I'll ask one more thing. Me talking in my videos non-stop, like I, I barely give a couple seconds to not speak. In the comments below or whatever, um, just, does that annoy you guys a lot? Does it bug you that I talk non-stop without a break? I mean, I know that's what commentaries are, so maybe that's kind of a contradiction, but... I don't know, I'm just worried about it, kind of. But yeah, tell me if you're annoyed by that or what. Okay, Mario. That's your cue, I guess, because, you know, you always do this, right? You always have to pull something before I cut it. You know? And there we go. 